What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, and I'm back in Space Engineers with a really short video today because I'm feeling pretty under the weather. But anyway, this is also going to be the first time I've done something that's kind of work in progress, and that's because I just, I'm getting such inconsistent results with what I'm trying to do here. And what we've got in front of me here is kind of where this all began, and it was the idea of, as you can probably guess, using gravity to firstly accelerate and then decelerate an item. And this here seems nice and consistent, as you would expect. Uh, and in fact, that wasn't the first prototype. This one here was the first prototype, which has been duplicated again. And the idea is to try and make something that could be used to... Well, sorry, that one, the idea was to make something that could you could fire or at it, and it would catch it in a gravity sort of trap about here. Uh, in fact, if I turn the UI on and go into info and not center of mass, gravity range, you can see we've got like a series of fields laid out here designed to pull in from one side and then kind of as you can probably guess by the names, turn it around, push it back in this direction where some very strong fields hold it in this sort of position. Uh, and I can kind of demonstrate by turning my jetpack off, give you an idea rather than putting some ore down. Um, let's have a look. Not dampers, this one. Whee. And the answer is, does it work? No. Uh, you kind of, you are slowing down a bit, but it, that wasn't working quite as intended. So I went and looked at something slightly different uh, with this sort of idea where you're sort of almost pinging something back and forth and the thinking here was a transport method so you notice how much this slows down at this end uh, and also how much it slows down to a consistent speed to the point where I think we can position ourselves and actually just grab it as it comes into range without any difficulty at all so a bit out of range there and putting all these things together what I wanted to do was make something that could be deployed to use gravity to fire things over very long range and initially the idea was cargo so what we have here is something developed to do that and for cargo it, and with collectors and ejectors this works really nicely um, but that's something that's not really finesse enough so I thought why not try and make it into essentially a sort of gravity elevator as a, a first experiment in trying to get this to be capable of accelerating and decelerating ships without human interaction needed so I just jump into the seat here I can show you how this works currently and it kind of does work but also unfortunately doesn't produce consistent results and I'm not entirely sure why but yeah, we get in here we can reverse this piston and this is going to put us if you imagine we've just boarded upon this elevator and the piston has pushed us into this gravity field and this could all be triggered with a button eventually but for the time being you're on board you've been moved into this gravity field and then we have to go into here for some reason you can't access anything in this other than by using F it's a really weird thing when you're sitting in these passenger chairs but anyway jumping in here and if I start this timer this is going to release us in this gravity field and then reverse that piston and we're going to fly through space and we're not going at max speed but we're going reasonably quickly and if I then played around with the number of gravity generators obviously this could be scaled up to make sure that we are going at max speed and as we're flying along what's happened is it's both turned the merge blocks back on again because we're going to need them but also it's flipped some artificial mass around uh, so that the artificial mass of the craft is now at the other end and what it's supposed to do as you can probably guess here is then go and slow itself down in this equal field on the other side and I stress this field is exactly the same but reversed and then connect with this little jobby here and you would imagine that those forces being equal on either end you would have some relatively consistent results but unfortunately that's the one thing I've not been able to get so if I just do a couple of runs and as you can see I've done this a couple of times before uh, there no and what we're going to do just going to go back the same direction because the idea here is this is obviously capable of going both directions being reversible without any real change necessary to the gravity setup because one's speeding you up and the other one's slowing you down so same one here on a button or what would be a button reverse ourselves back into the same gravity field uh, this someone else is using the ship thing I have no idea why that keeps popping up it, it has only been popping up with this sort of thing very recently no idea what's going on with it it just does that it doesn't seem to have any effect in this scenario so I've not bothered about it further and yeah off we go again now one thing you'll notice we've gone through the same speed the, the same speed we've gone through the same gravity field but our speed is now different to the first time 
uh, even though it's exactly the same force that's been applied to the ship, it's not producing a consistent speed when we go back and forth. And that's meaning that I also can't slow it down consistently. Um, that's also the first time it's ever missed. What on earth is happening? All right, well, while I talk further, I'm going to switch to some footage of me trying this further because I've been doing this over and over and over again, playing with the variables and trying to get it to perform in a consistent manner. And sometimes it's perfect. It comes in, the gravity field slows it down just enough that it sort of creeps into the target and everything's fine. And then sometimes it slams in there, sometimes it gets bounced back and goes the other way. And I've even tried various different variants, like it's not always been a merge block on the end. I tried it with connectors, I've tried playing with the um, center of mass, I've put gyroscopes in it, I've moved the um, artificial mass around. And for some reason this is just not consistent, even though, jumping back to the, the original footage again, this thing here you'll see this entire time has been doing exactly the same thing over and over again. So it's clearly consistent with an object like ore. But if you introduce a ship into the mix, it loses that consistency. And I'm not entirely sure why yet. I'm going to still work on it. And I really hope if anyone's got any ideas as to what might be going on here, hit me up because I'd be really interested to try and solve this one. It's been really frustrating and all the more so, as I said, when I'm feeling a bit crap and not really up for something that's messing me around. Anyway, guys, a really short and kind of useless video today but i hope you like it anyway if you did please hit like please hit subscribe as usual it really helps me and the channel out and otherwise i will catch you next time hopefully back on form with a proper video and that will be on tuesday so thanks for watching guys i'll catch you next time